Well guys, we made it to the new season and I tell you what, it has been turmoil at the club over the summer. We've had a takeover, which meant that we've had an embargo. Um, the chairman took three weeks, the new chairman took three weeks to decide whether we were going to be the manager to take them forward, which meant we still had a transfer embargo. We've lost top players and... Yeah, we're, we're down to bare bones really in the squad. It's certainly going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting three weeks after this trying to get some more sign-ins into the squad. But we're the favourites to go up and that's all that matters. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2018 and the first part of Season 5 of The Journeyman with Burton Albion. And today we have uh, the first match of the season which will be against Stevenage, away from home. It's quite a tough one to start with. Um, so yeah, I'll, t I'll take you through the summer. Basically, uh, the chairman put the club up for sale when we were relegated um, and this was around... June the 20th or something like that so just before um, the, the free transfer market opens really uh, when all the players get released and stuff which is where we were looking at because we only had seven grand to spend uh, we had to reduce the wage bill and then all of a sudden the takeover talks take about two weeks so it was something like uh, the 5th of July before that went through and then the chairman came in and said you know what I'm prepared to give you a chance uh, I'll make me decision in a couple of weeks. So we still had a transfer embargo all the way up to about the 20th of July, meaning that we haven't made as many signings as I would have wanted to, but we have lost big players. Liam Boyce has gone. He's gone to Scunthorpe, uh, 30 years old. Uh, he's gone for 375k. That's the most I could get for him, and he was causing a toxic atmosphere. I mean, he didn't score that many goals uh, for us last season, but he could have been a an important player. Isaac Buckley Ricketts has gone as well. He's out uh, to Cambridge on 100 for 180k. Didn't really feature much for me last season because he's a winger, but still a top player nonetheless. And Connor Roberts, he's the main one. He's gone. Our right back, our main right back, has gone for 1.6 million to Bristol City up in the Championship. He's been a key player the last few years at Burton Albion, and it's a big, big shame to see him go. On the ends though, uh, this one managed to go through just about because we'd agreed it in January. The free transfer of Jack Aitchison, uh, or yeah, Aitchison, and he's come in from Celtic. He's had a few good years in Scotland scoring the goals, so I'm really, really confident that he's going to be good this year. We've signed Gary Hooper on uh, a free transfer. He's 33 years old. You know, he's not the best player anymore, but uh, he's come in. As a, as a scout as well, so hopefully, um, you know, he can chip in with a couple of goals here and there. He is our fourth best striker because I'm not counting Dragomir, so he is going to get game time this year. It's as simple as that. Uh, we've had to eat humble pie and bring Daniel Grimshaw back to the club. We did release him in July, but then obviously with Scott Carson departing and is not able to bring in any goalkeepers, we've had to panic by uh, Daniel Grimshaw back on a free transfer. He did all right for us um, when when he was playing um, when I first came into the, the the squad. So hopefully he'll be he'll be good in League Two. Colin Doyle has come as well, very experienced goalkeeper. He's 36 years old. He's come in as an under-18s assistant manager slash goalkeeper. Um, he was at Birmingham for absolutely donkey's years, went to Blackpool and... <laughs> And then for a pound went to Bradford City, uh, spent years there. So he's been playing at League One more seasons. He played at uh, League Two level last season, got nine clean sheets. So he's certainly somebody that we can depend upon if needs be. Uh, and he might even be playing today. I think, no, it's Daniel Grimshaw playing today. But Colin Doyle's on the bench um, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, so tactically we are going for the diamond uh, I think it all started going wrong when we didn't use that last year unfortunately the only left back we've got in the squad is Guyton Bong and he's uh, currently suspended because he got sent off on the last day of the season 
Um, so we are in a little bit of trouble. Um, we've only got two players outside of the match squad. So we've got 19 players in our squad, which is awful. We've got three weeks to, to make that make a difference um, of that. Looking at the schedule, we've got a fairly tough start of the season, I would say. But um, if we look at the, the season preview, then... Uh, you'll see that we are predicted to win the league. Where Stevenage predicted uh, 19th, so apparently this should be a winnable game for us, uh, and hopefully we can we can remain true to that. Um, I will just be back in a second, though, guys, because somebody did um, request us to go through the scouting, so I'm just going to prepare that. So as you guys know, the only way I can sign players um, in this Journeyman series is if. Uh, if they come up on my scout reports or if I see them um, in a match that I've played or um, if they're on the, the stats screen, if you like. So um, I go into the scouting centre quite often uh, and I click this button, the scouted. That's that's nothing new, but sort them by recommended um, and I sometimes fiddle with this so that I can uh, see which players can be tempted and all of that and see which players we've scouted. Um but also, um, you can set some assignments for players, and I, I found that I find this really, really good. I've got Jermaine Pennant constantly on the next opposition. That's just standard. Um, uh, Matthew Ash is on uh, analyze the next opposition, and then I've I've just got a couple of others going out there, um, just scouting talent. I mean, uh, if you want to create an, uh, an assignment, um, how do you do it again? <laughs> I wish I, I wish I knew how to create them. I'm sure I'm sure you can. There we go. This is the one I wanted. So short term. Uh, if you go into short term focus, say I wanted. Um, what do we want? We want a, a left back, don't we? So let's go into that. We want a current ability of at least three star. Uh, potential ability of at least three. Uh, I'd prefer him to be a full back. Player style doesn't matter. Goalkeeper style doesn't matter. Uh, availability, uh, typically, what's this? These players might come at a slightly increased. Yeah, there we go. So we want it on now. Scouting range, um, probably England, but we'll just leave it like that, and we'll set the focus. and And hopefully, that means that these guys will uh, come up with a load of players that we need. And then they'll go into our scouting. I've turned off scouting meetings and stuff. But um, if you do go into your scouting centre, there'll usually be some stuff here. Maybe players approaching you and things. Uh, so that's just a little insight on how I scout. Um, if you guys want a full tutorial on that, let me know in the comments. I'm probably not the best person to ask. But anyway, um, let's have a look at our first team of the season. Our first squad. Um, it's certainly going to be a tough season. We haven't got that many good players, I don't think. Um, but we've got Daniel Grimshaw in goal. We've got Viner right back because we haven't found a replacement for good old um, Roberts yet. Willett and Nightingale start in the centre of defence with Joel Lynch having to deputise at left back. We've got Ross Doherty in at the anchorman position and then Jamie Allen and Vlad Dragomir in the middle of the park and Kevin Oliveira starting behind Sordell and Chet Evans. It would usually be uh, Jack Rodwell in here, but unfortunately, he's a little bit tired, bless him. So, uh, he's starting on the bench today. Anyway, let's... Uh, oh, we don't want... Oh, dear, those are terrible numbers. Uh, so, we want number 40 for him and number 13 for him. Who's number one? Peter Pears? Who on earth is Peter Pears? We'll have to sort that out. Who's Peter Pears? Uh, we'll submit the numbers. Oh, we can't. We can't look in the in the search bar now. But who on earth is Peter Pears, and why is he number one? Goodness me. Anyway, uh, so let's get into it. Oh, they've already stopped. Have I got a touchline ban or something? Um, what? I'm very very confused. I don't know why. Uh, why we haven't had the opportunity to do our team talk or anything, but hopefully it works. Here's Viner now. So Dell. Uh, this seems a bit zoomed in. Let's get that out. Here's Dragomir. 
Dragomir on the ball. Oh, it's now Vernon. Nightingale away. That's forward to Chad Evans, but couldn't get there. Boyle. Now to Giorgio. Giorgio on this left hand side. Oof. We've finally got a block in, but he has Brown to Boyle. And what a terrible start. What an absolutely terrible start uh, to our league campaign here. Stupid fly. Get away. Um, I mean. Three players went towards him and couldn't get a tackle. And look at this gap. Absolutely terrible. I mean, I can forgive Lynch for that because he's not a left back. So, I wouldn't forgive him for that horrific piece of defending. Here's Jamie Allen into the middle. It's Nightingale. Can he get it back? He can. It's Evans. And it's in. Finally, by Kevin Oliveira. Oh, why didn't Dragomir shoot? Why didn't uh, Chet Evans shoot? Nobody knows. But, um... I mean, when it was there, Dragomir, why didn't he shoot? And But main thing is, it's gone in. We've got our first goal of the season. It's one all now. Uh, and we've got to push on and try and get the victory here because uh, we need to start as we mean to go on if we, if we want any uh, chance of keeping our job this year because surely they're going to expect us to come back up as champions. So a slow start would not help our cause considering we brought them down. All right. Here's Viner now to O'Keefe. It's away by Willett. Here's Levinston. Now to Boyle. Boyle on the ball. It's a, a good save by Grimshaw. But, I mean, none of these guys are, are our signings um, from the summer, which shows you the stand. Oh, that's a penalty. That's got to be a penalty, it is. Um, obviously, Hooper on the bench. Uh, got Doyle on the bench. Um can't remember who else we've signed, to be honest with you. Um, don't know. Can't remember. Anyway, here's Evans. He steps up and he puts it in the back of the net. He gets his first goal of the season. Hopefully with a full season under his belt, he'll score a hell of a lot more goals. And we're 2-1 up now, which is good. It's a bit of a relief. Uh, I thought when we went 1-0 down within the first 10 minutes... Uh, we were in a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah, Aitchinson as well is on the bench. I think he's probably going to be our best signing. Um, eventually. <sighs> but it's it's about getting them all working together, isn't it? Here's Dragomir. I can't remember who the other guy we signed was. I'm sure we made four signings. I might be wrong. Might be wrong. Mackenzie's back, by the way. Ross Mackenzie. Uh, you might remember him. Anyway, 65 minutes gone. I think Sordell hasn't played that well. So we're going to put Aitchinson there. Um, yeah, he can play a poacher. Why not? We might bring Gary Hooper on a little bit later. Dragomir's on a yellow card. So we're going to bring uh, Sparrow on. Uh, and that'll do for now. Come on, boys. Let's hold on to this. Be a solid start of the season if we could get an away victory. It'll set us up nicely. Here's Morris. Now Horton. Campbell. Oh, it's away by Nightingale. Here's Aitchinson. He gets that forward to Evans, but I think he might be offside. He wasn't. Here's Oliveira. Oof. We need to move this back a little bit. Here's Joe, um, Joe Allen, James Allen, who's returned from injury now. And hopefully will play a key plot part this year. Him and Rodwell had a great partnership in the midfield. Here's Oliveira. Now will it? End of highlight. <laughs> End of highlight. Here's Morris. Smith. Smith to Horton. Now to Brown. Morris. Campbell. Oh, Morris again. Oh, Oliveira cuts it out. Now here's Aitchinson. Or is it Aitchison? I don't know. Here's Evans. Evans into the middle and Aitchison puts it in at the back of the net. And it's 3-1 now. And he gets his first goal of the season. That's very, very important to see him get off the mark. And it was Chet Evans with the assist. And he's had a, a decent game as well today. Chet Evans. So I think we're going to have... Goal scorers in the squad. I think even Gary Hubel will, will stick in a couple this year. I think he's a good player. Um, and at this level, he should definitely be able to score goals. So, 
I'm quite positive going forward. I think we need to make quite a few defensive recruitments, but it's about them uh, popping up on the the scout reports. You know, I think I'll set another scout report of uh, of right backs, and and hopefully we'll be able to sort that out as well. Uh, we are very very pleased with that performance, so. And it's a good start of the season, and we're going to go into that Nottingham Forest game in the Cup and hopefully come out with flying colours. Um, we've also got Blackpool in the next league game. So if we can come out of uh, the first two matches with six points, that would be amazing. Uh, Aitchison makes his debut, Oliveira on form. Brilliant stuff. Let's give him a, a little praise there. Um, so when are we going to come back? That is the question. We've got Forest, and then we've got Blackpool, uh, and then we might do. Um, yeah, shall we do Barnet and Bristol Rovers in the next in the next episode, and then I'll go away and do Check and Trade Trophy nonsense, and then we'll probably do Salford. Or something. I, I kind of want to keep the the matches quite close together at this stage of the season. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It really, really does mean the world to me. It really does help out the channel as well. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.